Okay. Okay. It started. Good work. <laughs> I love that. I love that for us. Cool. Okay. Um, so I actually don't have a framework for discussing like bound. I've, n- I've never actually had this discussion with a with a tabletop RPG like boundaries. Like it's kind of come up on an ad hoc basis in in sessions. But like yeah, same. Yeah. Basically, I've never I've never sat down with someone and been like, what? What's the line? Um, I guess. Uh, obviously, I'm okay with like descriptions of violence and stuff. Um, so I was also wondering about like the flavor that we're going for with this because in my mind it's superhero and supervillain, but I don't know what your oh yeah 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 it could easily be like I was it it could easily be like uh like link and dark link that kind of thing like a fantasy setting or on anything but like my my first assumption was like um superheroes yeah i think I think mine was like rival supervillains but it was definitely that flavor of like mm. okay. in e- existing in a superhero type setting so yeah. because i because i guess in in each of their minds the other one is their villain so yeah so yeah i'm um that 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 as a setting makes sense to me okay so descriptions of violence i'm okay with yeah. that um same like, so the obvious thing to talk about now is sex. Like, I don't really yeah. want to... I live in a house with my parents. I'm not going to describe sex, thanks. Like... <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not. My front door's <laughs> open for the cat to come in and out. And I live next door to a bunch of children. Yeah. So I'm not... And also, it's 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 25 to 11 in the morning. And that's just not... I only woke up <laughs> half an hour ago. It's too but... early to be feral. It's too early. Yeah, it's... <laughs> we all watched the video. We all watched the video of Joey Basie reading The Witcher last night. Uh, yeah, it's Carolus um, is turned off for, for 24 hour period. <laughs> my friend was like, I'm not going to be feral for a day. And then my <laughs> friend was like, I can't believe that Joey Beatty makes you not feral, but Ramadan doesn't make <laughs> you not feral. Um, so yeah, no, 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 um, no horny before noon. I'm illegal. I'm fine with being a little spicy. Put put some paprika on that. Um, <laughs> For fuck's sake. Yeah, I agree. Like, like. Sorry, like, I say that whenever whenever me and Seb are talking about D and D, and they 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 say something that's like kind of plot related that I didn't realise. I'm like, ah, paprika. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so on a on a Nando's Perry Perry rating <laughs> with mild with with sorry with like lemon and herb mango and lime being like these people have never had a sexual thought about each other in their lives to extra hot being Bleh. um i think when we're aiming to not go above like a like a, a mild side of medium like when n- not above a medium yeah they might think more than they do as well yeah 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 yeah, yeah. um uh, medium on the Perry Perry scale. I'm writing that down. Oh, we need to. This needs to be like a. This needs to be like a safeguarding system. <laughs> the Perry Perry yeah. safeguarding system. <laughs> <laughs> the spicy boundary <laughs> structure. Um. Um. You want fries with it, or just some minted peas? What about corn in the cob? I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. My favourite thing to do is to eat a corn in the cob while making direct eye contact with someone. <laughs> it makes us so uncomfortable. I mean, like, someone that I know, not like... I, I, had, uh, a, I, I, I had two friends who used to go out, and um, there, was, there was more than one occasion where I went for lunch with them, and they both watched me eat salad very intensely to creep me out. And I was like, you can just ask me for a threesome. It's no problem. Literally! <laughs> I was gonna say that's such horrific <laughs> polyamorous couple vibes of like <laughs> chew the iceberg, Sophie. So so strange. Get a crouton. <laughs> um uh emotional emotionally charged. I mean we're I feel like we're kind of getting used to doing scenes like that that yeah quite emotionally impactful so that's like fine with me yeah i'm all right with that Mm. okay um
Is that anything else? Um, I can't think of anything. No, me neither. But if something comes up, it's okay to be like, time out. Yeah. Can we talk about this? That's fine. We like that. Sure. Cool. Let's do the setup. Let's go. Let's get into the setup. Yeah, baby. Um, okay. Sorry, my dice. <laughs> Millions of dice clattering. Oh, for fuck's sake. You're like a little dragon sitting atop your horde. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 okay the plot you were together once happy and playful and then everything fell apart now you meet again as enemies rivals nemesis but something yearns between you both i hope to return to what once was yearning sorry i love yearning <laughs> answer together Being gay and insufferable before noon sorry <laughs> answer together uh record what names did you use for each other and no one else? Who left first and why? How did you meet again? Why won't you reconcile with each other? Okay, going in hard. Um, what names did we use for each other? Because uh, I feel like if we're both, if we're like, are we going with supervillain, supervillain or superhero, supervillain or what? What are we doing? I mean, I want to be a supervillain. So it really depends on if you want to be a superhero or a supervillain. I want to play superhero. And I feel like that works really well with the idea of like two people kind of having to kind of break off a relationship because they've got different different priorities, different values. I think that that kind of that yeah. tracks with them, um, with the kind of emotional themes that are happening here. Yeah, big agree. Okay, nice. Or like um, at, le- at the very least, case... at, at the very least, we've both got some. We're both like kind of su- superhuman people, but we both believe the other person is the supervillain. Yeah, I think. I mean, I, I'm happy with you being the the archetypal hero and me being the archetypal villain. I think that'll be quite fun. Okay. Like, cool. Yeah, like if it ain't broke, don't fix it, and it's yeah. a good dynamic to have. So. Cool. Okay, so. So I feel like we we know each other's actual names that the public don't know. Yeah, okay. So the names we used to call each other were literally just things that weren't like, I don't know, fucking super goblin yeah. or whatever. Um, <laughs> super so, um, I used to call you um, Brian, no. Uh, Could be. Uh, yeah, fuck it, Brian. <laughs> sure, no problem. Um, what did you use to call me? Um, oh, okay. Oh, god damn it! Names. This is the wor- This is the thing that I'm always bad at when I run when I run games. I can never think of names for stuff. Um. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm already hating Brian. Um, you can change it. I don't mind. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a look through like the back of this book here and see if I can find anything. That'll get, that'll help me. Here we go. Okay, Ooh. Marcus is in Marcus Brutus because cool. Okay, so I'm Marcus. Um, Amos. I used to call you Amos. Work. Yes. Um, I can't remember what Amos is. It's like a myth. It's like a cool, like old name for something cool that happened it's, in old times, but I can't remember what it is. It's a, it's a um, it's a Bible thing, isn't it? Uh, it's he's a prophet. Yeah. And it's a Hebrew name, so. Oh, is it? Representation, yeah. Cool. Okay. So, uh, who left first and why? Um, I think that I... I like... Don't understand why you care so much about me doing morally grey things Mm -hmm. so I think that you left first because I like 
at the time didn't have the capacity to like understand that what I was doing was like a thing that would affect our relationship Mm -hmm. cool because I like the idea that we started out as like uh, I don't know like I guess it's like we guess at what point do you have to hide your identity from the public yeah yeah that's true because because mm. may, maybe like we you did something that was that was that, like got you did something that was like dangerously close to getting getting us both in trouble with the police or like some other criminal organization mm-hmm. and so we had we both had to kind of adopt pseudonyms and yeah and that like because i risk our lives and our like last chance at secrecy and like some kind of a normal life that that was like the straw that broke the camel's back I guess okay. yeah some something happened that caused us both to have to take on identities yeah so, so actually an important question I think to ask is like were we were we dating before before this kind of break is is the the the, the kind of the rift between us was there a relationship that was happening before that or were we just friends before that and then the rift happened and now we're kind of reconciling what's happening? Mm. Um. I'm more inclined that we're, that we're not, that we, that we weren't dating before. Because then the yearn is much stronger. Yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah. I, was, I was just thinking that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I think we used to like we used to spend ages just like sitting under the stars looking at each other yes absolutely like um, we've been yearning since the day we met yes but we're yeah yeah we're both too like pathetic and gay to to resolve Ooh. it <laughs> exactly exactly cool okay um how did you meet again How did we meet again? Um, I, I think probably I was committing a crime and we were both like masked up and fighting um and then we like caught each other's eye and realized mm-hmm. like oh fuck this is the person that used to be my best friend mm-hmm. and now we're fighting to the death what and kind of- whoever one of us mm-hmm. won i think let the other escape by accident okay i think that might e- I'm, I'm trying to figure out that's the uh... yeah so I think that I think that the way the game lays it out is the opening is like we've seen each other and now we're meeting up like officially, like that's what the opening phase okay. is. So we've we've right, kind right, of right. we kind of we've kind of seen each other around and then we've decided to kind of clash and that's what the opening is. So yeah, like so what what crime was it? Um, I I will I'm tempted to go with something that in my opinion isn't evil at all, which is like. killing billionaires but like mm, i like that no uh, i was hired yeah. the billionaire hired me as his bodyguard and you came to try and kill him yes yes, yes. okay yeah, yeah 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 so i've been murdering billionaires and your guy's name yes. is next on the list Yeah, I like, yeah. This is the thing, because, like, I, yeah, I absolutely want, if you're going to be a super villain, I don't want you to be, like, it's obvious you're just doing evil, bad shit. Like, it's way more interesting yeah. if, like, we we both think we're doing the right thing. Like, that's way more interesting. Mm-hmm. We'll figure okay, out, so... yeah, we'll figure out what happened, like, during one of the phases, I think, with that. Like we can probably figure that yeah, out. Yeah, probably exactly what happened there. Um, Why won't we reconcile with each other? Hmm. Um, 
I think it's probably something about like how far like someone is forgivable or redeemable. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Like I've killed people mm-hmm. because I wanted to, mm-hmm. even though like I am of the belief that I was doing it for a redeemable reason. Mm-hmm. I have like committed bad murder. Mm-hmm. Um and potentially that's something that you don't think that you can find like a redeeming like that like that is a step too far. Okay. Yeah, so maybe so yeah, maybe the point is like yeah, that that's that's the thing. Like your approach is like if someone goes too far they need to be they need to be killed. Um yeah. and then my approach is like just we we like we can always rehabilitate. Like there's maybe it'll take a long time, but we can always rehabilitate someone to be better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that. And then it has that's some interesting like concurrent emotional themes that can go along with that as well. Like Yeah, absolutely. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Cursed little man. <laughs> Dreadful boy, don't eat my plants. Stop it. Um, yeah, so I've done bad murders. Um, cool. Yeah, we won't reconcile because... Yeah, and I, you, you believe in and, killing... And, that, and our approach is that, yeah. Yeah, and... God. <laughs> Don't drink my coffee, you fucking weapon. You call him? I called him a weapon. I thought you were going to say a leper. <laughs> I'm going to call him that next. Thanks. Okay. Oh, and then we have. Um, Answer alone. Okay, so we've, yeah. got to, we've got to do this by ourselves. No discussion. Number three is hard. Oh, yeah.
Uh, I'm done. Um, I can just go. Yeah, I, I think can... I'm. Oh, are you done as well? Uh, yeah. Cool. Um, I think so. Because it also says give your character a name, age, and pronouns. Um, okay. Right. So, what are our super person that, names then? That was I what guess. I was going to do, yeah. Um, I kind of want to go with. I, um, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to try and think too hard about this. I'd like to. Um, there's a TV series that I really like called The Boys. Um, which is about mm -hmm. like um, it's like a su it's 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 about superheroes, but like in a kind of um, superheroes that are basically owned by a big company um, who haul them out on social media and publicity, and they're all terrible people. Um, apart from the person Excellent. who joins the team at the beginning of the series, um, called Starlight, who um, she has like um, bl like like she she has the, she can like um, surge electricity and like her eyes glow bright so bright enough that she can blind people. Um, I'm gonna just like steal that, and um, that's gonna be my thing. I can surge electricity and I can blind people with my eyes. <laughs> okay, nice. And your name's Starlight. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go with Starlight because that's that's taking too much from it. I think um, uh, Nova. Nova. Nice. Because I was thinking, I thought about the moon immediately because mm -hmm. I love the moon. <gasps> Did you? Um, oh, that's so perfect. Yeah, I know, right? Um, and I think that I, I can, okay, I know what you're thinking, and that this is a rip-off of The Moon Wants Me To Leave You, but it's fucking not, because I think about this concept all the time. I think that I can, like, mutate at will to, mm -hmm. to like, a werewolf creature, mm -hmm. um, and I have the ability to just fucking go ham and with like my terrible claws and my horrible bite and my red terrifying eyes um but I can like and I can go the the, the whole way or just like affect the parts of me that need affecting okay and my superhero name is um <laughs> the wolf is that too no that's fine okay i imagine it's like a name that okay, people that, like it's not and maybe it's not even a name that you've decided on or either of us have decided yeah, it's, on it's like someone's been given us like by twitter <laughs> yes i'm you literally <laughs> they'd be tweeting about us mm. Okay, dokie. Um, okay, I'm gonna what just. Your... I'm gonna recap the stuff that we decided together. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm Marcus, you're Amos. I left first because you got us in trouble with somebody, um, mm -hmm. and that caused us to both like have to take on pseudonyms. Um, we uh, we we met again when I was the bodyguard for a billionaire, and you came to kill the billionaire. We don't know what happened with that. We'll, fi we'll figure that out. Uh, we we can't reconcile because uh, you believe in killing for the greater good, and I believe in like rehabilitation is always possible. Um, what is your pronoun? Uh, he him. How about yours? Yeah. Also he him. Cool. Um, and how old are we? 
Mm. I was thinking about, I don't know, I was just going to go with my age, like. Yeah, that's fine. I also, feel like. I will also do that. Yeah. So both, okay. both, both 21, right? You're 21? I am 21, yeah. Okay. I forgot my age of the day. I was, I had a panic. I was like, am I 21 or 22? And then I <laughs> looked up on Google just to check. Because I'm bad at math. <laughs> God, what an icon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you go. Um, okay, so, okay, I, I, I understand the, the thing. Um, oh, and the player with the player with more victories overall frames what happens. Oh, happens. okay. It's more, so it's, it's more victories overall. Okay. I thought it was like a kind of, okay, that, that makes sense. So like, each, it works. Yeah, each victory will affect what happens in that little window, and then at the end of the game, the person with the most victories overall decides what happens. Okay, wait. So um, when all the when all phases have ended, the player with more victories frames what happens after to your rivalry relationship needs. Work together to find a fitting end for each other. Okay. I'm just making double sure that I know how this works. Okay. So it says the phase ends when all D6s are used up. Mm -hmm. Each. Okay. So I guess we have what we have to do is like, kind of like in um, the moon wants me to leave you. We basically we'll, we'll we'll play a round and then one of us can just decide this round has ended. Let's let's play another round. Yeah. Yeah, and then what that will yeah, that works. The next, yeah, when the next kind of yeah, when all of the ability to easily progress has passed, yes. then we move to the next one. Yeah, okay. So should we roll our first lot of dice? Yeah, so it's six d sixes first. Two, three, four, five, six. What if we roll terribly. really bad. <laughs> okay. Have you rolled? Yes. So have I. Um, so should we do a countdown and say what our number is? Uh, I guess. We both have to reveal it at the same time. Um, yeah, or we could hold it, like, hold it up to the screen, or... No, no, we'll just say the number. That's what that works. Yeah, well, I, I can, because I don't have every... I've only got two dice, and I've written all the numbers down. Okay. Um, okay. So we, we basically, we, so we choose in turn. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll figure it out as we go along. Like, mm -hmm. sure. Wait, should we seem pain, or does that start? I like... When... I, dice rolling starts. We'll we'll do our first dice, and then the person who wins gets to scene paint, and that's how we will start. Maybe okay. that can be the first round, the scene painting, where you start, or the, that, that, the the winner starts the scene paint. Okay. And um, are we? Sorry, I just need to okay. get this straight that's in my brain. Are we meeting in neutral territory, or have we just like? had a fight like what or do we decide that i think we i don't know i'm trying to, i'm trying to like think about how these confrontations happen in films they just kind of happen like they just, yeah. they're just like on the building together like <laughs> um yeah they, they, maybe we're both like a, they don't maybe we're both like scouting the, we're, we're both scouting the city looking for bad shit that's happening and we we run into each other and then you get to define okay, where, that, yeah, yeah. where that meeting, or you, you or me gets to define where that meeting is. Okay, cool. Right. So, um, I'll, I'll, should we just show our dice to the camera? <laughs> yeah. Oh, your little cat. <laughs> I know. Terrible little man. Okay. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. 
Oh, it's a draw. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> we both rolled a four. We both picked our four. Okay. Well, maybe we, we both... Okay. So, um, that's there. Yeah, that's, that's a draw. We'll figure out... And we'll figure out what a draw means based on context, I think. Okay. Um, okay. Um, let's just... Yeah. How about it's a building? It's the top of a building, the classic. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. go. I want to go with lots of cliches. Yeah. Lots of lots of cliches. I'm not overthinking. Oh, it. yeah. Totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So it's the top. It's the top of a building, and it's not like. It's not the highest building, but it is high enough that like, one sort of cursory glance around affords you this like sweeping view of the city. Um, mm. and I think perhaps uh. The day is sort of just fading into twilight. It's like a warm summer evening uh, and all the street lights are starting to come on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's like a row of little, there's a, there's, a, there's a row of starlings on a telephone wire nearby. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, um, and I, as I've arrived on this rooftop, I've jumped down from a slightly higher one. Mm -hmm. So I'm still sort of on the ground crouched using my, my, my wolf senses to sniff for crime. Um, I'm sat on, um, I, I'm like sat on the edge of my, with my legs dangling over the edge. Um, just kind of, just, I, I've paused in my, um, certain, in my kind of um, nightly scout of the city. Um, and um, I'm um, making, uh, I'm kind of looking across the way at an apartment block and I'm like kind of um, making the, the the lights across the windows like f turn on and off in sequence um, <laughs> like um, like a Mexican wave and um, <laughs> just, just just kind of dumb a dumb harmless thing I'm doing with my powers. Enjoy that I think that in uh, what I, I want to say that in one of the windows there's like a very confused family trying to have dinner. <laughs> yes absolutely um, um Oh, uh, oh my, okay. I, well, shit, I'm gonna have a costume, haven't I? Um, yeah, shit, what, what, what does your costume look like, man? Oh, okay. Um, so it's not like a, it's not like a bodysuit because those are fucking expensive and you have to have them commissioned. Um, yeah. It's more like a kind of like Peter Parker sort of like, um, um, like, um, a, short sleeved white t shirt with a, with like a yellow star on it um and um like a, a golden mask that covers like um just the top part of my face um um and um uh, jeans with like um i've been, i've embroidered like um gold gold turn ups like at the bottom um yeah, it's super like it's super like um, Peter Parker with no money has to kind of have a has to, but knows he has to have an outfit <laughs> sort of thing. Um, I love that energy so much. Hmm. Um, I I don't have a, like a, a costume because I find that it like it's not like it, it just draws more attention to me. Mm -hmm. So I'm just wearing like. Um, uh, uh, shorts like kind of um like like booty shorts that are like three sizes too big for me mm -hmm. um and a tank top that are basically both big enough to like accommodate if I need to turn into a wolf um and I also have um like a black paisley bandana tied around the lower half of my face mm -hmm. um and I'm wearing like fucking badass converse um, and I have a backpack um, out of which I, I have pulled a can of monster energy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is painting a picture. It's beautiful. <laughs> okay. Um, I think that's where we start. Yeah. And I haven't noticed yeah. you. I haven't noticed you. I'm just like, mm -hmm. I'm like focusing and trying to see if I can maybe make it look like the apartment block is playing snake. Um <laughs> just sort of uh just sort of concentrating and with 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 my back to you a little bit of my mm -hmm. midriff little little bit of my midriff showing under my t-shirt 
Um, so I'm going to stand up um, and I've realised that it's you, so I pull the bandana down so it's around my neck. Um, and I pad towards you softly. Um, wait until I am like a metre behind you and then crack open my energy drink really loudly. Fuck! Uh, and I whirl around. I, I, I swing, <laughs> I, I, I turn around suddenly, swing my legs and my, my eyes are like... Um, like are like bright specks of of light, and they they hurts to they hurts to look at me right now because I'm in fof, I'm in like defensive mode. Mm -hmm. um, and you know you shouldn't. Uh, sorry. No, no, you go, you go. You know you shouldn't uh, just hang out on the edge of buildings. A criminal might come around and push you off. <sighs> Fucking you. Mhm. Mm <sighs> it's me. Busy fighting crime. I see. And I gesture towards the part the apartment building. I'm just I'm on my I'm I'm, I'm having a break. It's fine. It's fine. And the glow from my eyes kind of dissipates, um, and I and I sit back on the wall, but facing you this time. Right, yeah, your union mandated break. Do superheroes have a union? You should you should you should get on that. Oh my god, you're always talking about fucking unions. I... I, well, I mean, there's not. I mean, the, the the whole network is is dispersed at the at the minute. I, you you can't you can't just it's very difficult to get a bunch of people together who want to kind of stay hidden. Like, I don't know how hackers manage it. I, what you, what you did when I was, when I was protecting that billionaire was irresponsible. And it, it, it I, I'm, I'm never, I'm not going to get that kind of money again for, for years. I have to go to rebuild my reputation after that. Are we still on that? Jesus, yes. man. Okay. Oh. Look, I'm sorry that you were in the way, all right? I'm sorry if you feel like you're the victim in this situation. That must suck. Um, but I was, just, I was just doing what I had to. Slashing out a huge chunk of his leg is not a compromise. And it, it 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 certainly didn't it certainly didn't mean I got paid. Well, man, I wish you would have fucking told me that at the time, because then I would have finished the job. No, 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 no. That's not. Oh, you just you just you just try and you just try and turn everything into a into an argument. I'm. Oh. Look, you're not the only one that suffered because of that. All right. Because I let him live, there is a bounty on my head now. So now I'm just fucking skulking around rooftops like some sort of loser who's only been doing villainry for like six months. I look at you incredibly pointedly because you are also skulking around a rooftop. I... Well, why didn't you finish the job then? Why, why did you do that? I think you know the answer to that, Marcus. But in case you needed a reminder, it's because you asked me not to finish it, all right? <clears throat> uh, I think we should play around. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, okay, so. And. Three, two, one. Oh shit. Okay. So you, you get to win this round. You decide how yeah. that works. Yeah, I'm already. Um, okay, so. You say that um, th you asked me to do it, uh, and I'm, I'm kind of at a loss for words. Um. Yeah, I think I am as well because I wasn't expecting to, to be that vulnerable, that immediately. Um, so I, um, oh, I, I think I come and sit by you on the 
the side of the rooftop. Um, yeah, I. Uh, it's difficult, isn't it? You know, when I remind you that I'm a person with feelings and not a manifestation of all evil that you get to hound again and again and again until you finally beat me. I... I... <sighs> you know, what, what hap what's, what's, what's happening between us, this is the... This is like the... This is like the one exception to my to my rule. I always think that I always thought that I always think that we can always fix things and, and things can always be okay. We can always like we can always make people better, make things better, but I think with this I I just don't know anymore. I don't think this can be I don't know. Well hmm. If that's how you feel, then um, I stand up like almost as quickly as I sat down um, and um, as soon as I turn away from you, there's like a like a glint in my eye um, and I, I sort of step one foot out over the edge. Um, and I have I have my arms out um, in some kind of like um, almost angel of the north like pose. Shit, what, um, are you, what are you doing? It's too high up. Go on then. Go on if then. This is unfixable. If I'm unfixable, just push me up. No, no, Get all no. The credit for it. I I don't kill people. I I I don't kill people, Amos. All right. I I I and I. I can't stop myself from just like grabbing you and pulling you, pulling, like pulling you back. I knew it. <laughs> what? 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 That I'm not gonna let a per a person die for 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 no for no goddamn reason? That's what? What? That's that's a new piece of that's a new that's a new piece of of information. Um, calm down, Marcus. Jesus. No, no, I just. I knew that it would get you all flustered and you'd freak out and it's um it's cute. Um I I turn I turn away super embarrassed. Like every goddamn time, man. How much how how much do I have to annoy you to even let me let me hang there precariously for a single second before you feel the need to save me from myself? All right, you you got me. I I guess there is still something there. I think we should play another round. <laughs> yeah. And okay. Um Okay. okay. 3 2 1 Fucking oh, it's the exact it. same thing that happened with me wants to leave you and be rolling the same things over and over again. Um Okay, there's some kind of draw then here. Some kind of draw. Mm -hmm. Maybe there is still something there. Yeah, yeah, maybe there is. Um I turn away and chug some more of my energy drink. Um and you can see in sort of the the side of my face that the, the fading sunlight is hitting uh, that I'm blushing, um, <laughs> and I, as soon as I kind of like feel the heat rising in my face, um, I turn away and sort of like I'm like oh it's got I've just got I've got um, <clears throat> um, I. <laughs> I put one hand on the side of my face in an incredibly unnatural pose because there's nothing to lean on. Why do you look like you're trying to hold your cheek onto your face? Uh, you know, it's the moon. Does crazy things sometimes. Maybe, 
can just I can feel my cheek mutating a bit. That's all. Just gotta just gotta keep it in. Um, you have the dumbest superpower. Uh, fuck off. Um, sorry. And those and those things. Um, and I point I point at the energy drink. And those those things are. Those things are trash. They, they're, they're so bad for your digestive system. Sorry, you froze a bit. I did hear it, oh, but okay. it just super lagged. Um, listen, I don't fucking d- uh, arrive at your place when you're s- sitting drinking a kale smoothie or whatever it is the super nerds drink and tell you that that's trash because it's it's bad for you as a person because did you know i read an article that says that every single time you drink a kale smoothie you become less capable of having fun once you get used to the taste it's actually it's actually very good for your skin oh no oh i think i think it's too late i think you've lost all ability to have any fun at all what I can slap. liking liking the taste of a kale smoothie is the final stage. What I can still have day. fun. Hey, last really week, tell what. Hey, yeah. last last week I played Catan with some of my family. That was that was very pleasant. I've not played it before. There was a surprising amount of strategy. I enjoyed with your it. Family. Yes. Jesus, Marcus, do you not think I remember the conversations we had about your family? I, well, you know what? It was a nice buffer because it stopped it stopped everyone from arguing. Well, that sounds thrilling. I, too, love to play well, board games least... as an excuse to avoid any emotional conflict with my family whatsoever. Well, I say it stopped the arguments. The arguments were more about, like, um, give me, you know, give me the Wii. You never, you never give me the Wii. You never appreciate me rather than, like, about other stuff. So that was at least a bit better than it usually goes. You're right. I take it back. That sounds like so much fun. <sighs> I'm jealous. Can I come next time? I'll bring an expansion pack. Bring an expansion pack? I didn't know they did those. Yeah, man, they do loads of expansion packs. You should, you should go down to, you know, the board game shop in downtown sometime. There's like a shop for board games. I thought they just bought them from stationery shops. Don't look at me like that. I didn't Who know. Who are you? I, oh, Jesus. Yes, there are shops for board games. Like, there's shops for literally everything. Like, there's shops for kale. I know I there's assume. shops for kales. It's called a supermarket, you dingus. Wow. Okay. Sorry. I'm. I didn't realize you were this passionate about kale. I didn't realize this was who you become. <laughs> Let's play another round. <laughs> <laughs> love this. this. Is so much fun. I <laughs> love this so much. This is just everything that I want. I want from a superhero confrontation. Uh, okay. okay. Three, Three two, two, one. One. Oh, lads, 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 lads. <laughs> so, uh, what's what's the what's the kale like in Lidl? I'm assuming that's where you've got a shop now, since all of the you know money making superhero we went superhero re super heroics went sideways. They learned to now. Sp- you've just got to fight crime out of the good of your heart. Yeah, fighting crime out of the good of out of the good of out of the good of your heart. It's got a it's got a long and healthy precedent, actually. Long and healthy precedent don't, doesn't pay rent though, does it? I have a side job jobs. I you know that's what that's what we're expected to do. It's the gig economy, you know. And part of you that gig, side... part, part of that gig economy now is fighting crime. That's it's what it's what it's what <laughs> happening. What? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What side jobs do you have exactly? I need to be able to picture this. Please don't tell me you're a delivery driver, Marcus. I, I'm not a delivery driver. I'm a Deliveroo, like, biker. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. This is the best day in the world. So you're telling me... So you're telling me that after a hard day of fighting crime, you go home and you hang up your embroidered jeans and you crop top and 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 you get you get your big blue box and you hop on your bike 
<laughs> there's so many there's there's actually a lot of young people uh who are also doing it and also you know what it keeps me it keeps me in shape it keeps me fit you know actually if i didn't if i wasn't a delivery biker i probably wouldn't be able to do the superhero stuff because i wouldn't be i wouldn't be as in shape as i am have you heard of just you can you know that you can just exercise right like you don't have to be a delivery driver yeah, yeah to but I, you know you, but exercise i mean you know going to the gym it's expensive and Deliveroo, I get the exercise and I get paid for it, and I can okay. and I can fight crime. I think it makes sense. Okay. Well, they don't treat their workers very well, so no. I'm sorry for that. That's um, that's something I'm working on. That's something I'm working on. And it's, what are you doing to work on it? Um, I uh, I I I actually have been trying to plant the seeds for 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 um. Unionizing a little bit, and also I've been talking to uh, the the you know I've been I've actually been talking to HR and trying to uh, uh, encourage them to do some better training. You're starting a union. I'm not. I'm not starting, You're a, starting union. a union. I'm not starting Excellent. a union. I'm not actually starting Excellent. a union. I'm actually plan what I'm doing is I'm planting the seeds for other Why? people to start the union. Because Why are you so averse to admitting that sometimes I'm right and my ideas are good? Well, because well I, I actually came up with this by myself it wasn't it wasn't because you told me to do it it's because I thought this could be a good situation for a union please I you would have no class consciousness if it wasn't for me credit where credit is to you man uh, hey I follow I follow lots of working class creatives and artists on Instagram I think that, okay. you know, I'm engaging there. Okay, okay. Sure, sure. Um, this has been a fascinating and horrible insight into your life. So thanks for that. You're welcome. You know, it's, um, it's much easier to get money if you go after the people who have the money. It's, I mean... Not to brag, but my life is pretty fucking sweet. Uh, not only have I been able to fund a shit ton of necessary surgeries, um, fucking bypass universal credit for a shit ton of families that were still on the waiting list, uh, but I got a pretty sweet house now. Really? Where is it? Um, it's in like. You know, you know, you know the gay bit? Yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's, 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 um, well, I mean, it's not a house, it's an, it's an apartment, because, because I still want to be in the city, and there aren't any houses here. Oh my god, is it near the park? Yeah, yeah, I fucking the park. hate you, I can't yeah. believe you got, you got, a, I can't believe you have an apartment in the gay bit near the park. Yes, I do. It's fucking great. And it's got a balcony, so I can drink my morning coffee and look out over the park. This fucking sucks! You have an apartment in the gay bit near the park and you have a balcony? What the hell? Sorry about it. Using all that billionaire money for something. Okay, I've decided that I've won this bit, so let's do another yeah. segment. <laughs> um, okay, three, two, one... Oh, sorry. I should have. I picked up my dice to be like, but yeah, yeah. No, I didn't sorry. see what you're doing. Okay. Was. Two. It's a two. Okay. Um, as soon as I finish gloating about my apartment near the park, I like. You can't. That's. Oh, fuck. Like that's. You understand that that's like privileged information, right? You can't like use that. Like you can't just tell. Oh, I bet. I. Why? Well, I bet it's not that privileged because I expect you're still fucking people whenever you get depressed. Wow. Wow, Marcus. Okay. Uh, just to let you know, I fuck people when I get manic as well. So... That's not better. I mean, what, when, was the la when was the last time that you had someone you were fucking? Because it sure does just sound like jealousy, man. Uh, actually, I... Well, I have the self-control to understand that, it doesn't, that that kind of behaviour doesn't fix things in the long term. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, 
fascinating. You know what it does fix, though? Mm-hmm. The very human need to get laid. Yeah, I'm. I'm sure it does. I'm sure. It, uh, uh, but uh, I'm sure it doesn't. It doesn't fix the need to, um, you know, have therapy. Maybe um, cope with exi- cope, cope with existing life problems and traumas. Maybe I don't don't really think it does help with those kind of things, really. But yeah, I'm sure it does help you to get laid. Having sex does. Yeah. My God. You went off at me about not knowing what a board game shop is. That's that's not comparable. This is this is a different thing. This you're 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 acting like you still know what's best for me. I I just I just think your life would be like a lot a lot a lot like you just have a lot less problems if you just maybe just took a leaf out of my book. Honestly, to do what? To Well, first of all, be a nerd. Um, wh- that's that's by the by. First of all, maybe don't kill people. Um, maybe try and find more constructive ways around that. Um, second of all, don't. Second of all, don't don't fuck people willy nilly when you have problems that are not adjacent to the fucking. Um, that's that's just actually that's just my two cents. That's just, that's a free that's a, that's a little leaflet of uh, life advice from from Nova. Thank you so much with, for your fucking insight into my... We haven't even seen each other for months, and it's been, what, 20 minutes? And you were already telling me how I should live again? I... You're telling me how I should live? I'm not. I'm not. I'm just suggesting. Should we play the last round? Play the last round? Yeah. Wait, is it is it the last one? I I think it's the last one. One, two, three. Yeah. Oh, sit. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Sorry, five, I miscounted. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, you win okay. this one. Okay. Well, if we're doing the whole life advice thing. You know, if we're doing more than just a suggestion, maybe, maybe you should stop just just defending people who pay you the most money. Maybe you should take one second to think about whether or not it's morally right to be defending someone whose business practices have led to the deaths of like an, a not fucking insignificant amount of people. And maybe just for one minute, you should stop spending all your time thinking about me and the ways I can improve my life and fucking start it at home. I, oh God, I cannot with you. I, um, I, sit, I, I kind of um, kick my feet at the, um, at the ground sort of restlessly. I, I just think that people, you know, if you spend, if you have, if you spend enough time with, with people, they can they can gradually understand that to, that they can they can become better like that's that's when i you know I, I, when i'm with the, when i'm when i'm when i when i've been doing the bodyguarding for millionaires i'm not just sitting on my ass i'm trying to i'm trying to influence that thought process and trying to understand it and get get inside there and try and try and turn things around that's that's a it's a process you know and how many people in their workforce have to suffer while that gradual change of consciousness is happening you know, baby steps. It, it'll, it'll happen eventually. No, no, it's not baby steps, but it's people's lives that we're talking about, Marcus. I just... I, I See, thought... this is... You're incapable of... You're so obsessed with looking at the bigger picture, you never stop to think about the smaller one. I thought it was working. If it took me telling you that it's not for you to realise that. I don't know what to say. 
and I sit down defeated and chug the last remnants of my energy drink. I I go back to where the the apartment block with all the lights on, um, and I put my um I have my my fists sort of start to to ball up and I'm shaking and then um I just let out like a a, a scream of anger and um all the all the lights in the apartment blocks like flare and just buzz out and um I leave I hop to the next building and away and to the next into the next into the distance. Okay. Cool. Okay, nice. Oh, this is interesting. I'm really enjoying yeah, this. Yeah, it is. It is. Okay, cool, cool, um, cool, cool, cool. Okay, so... Um... 10d6. 10d6. Yeah, we saw Wait. It. So... You don't... Wait, the way that I've been playing it, I roll six at the start and pick the numbers. Is that what you're meant to do? Yeah, I rolled... Six at the start, keep the numbers, and then... Yeah, and then I'm, I'm like... Yeah. yeah, I'm like, oh, I'm going to play low this round. Like, yeah, that's yeah, what I've okay. been doing. I'm going to quickly put something on the Discord saying, hey, 12th night screening might be at half past. <laughs> yeah. Just because I don't want to be rushing with this. Um... Sorry, hang on a sec. Mm, nope, not music sharing. I added like emojis to all the Discord channels the other night because I was bored. I saw this morning. It's very good. I don't know if Seb's going to hate it or or like it because I think it makes it easier to see what all the what the channels are. Yeah, I enjoy it. Oof. Okay. Sorry, one sec. Cool, I'm gonna roll my dice. Wow, okay. 10d6. I think we can afford to make some of these really quick as well. Like really, if we've got like a zinger, that can be like a really quick victory and then we move on to the next round. I think we're being too- Yeah, totally. We're being too generous. Um, just to vary the pacing. Oh, wow. Okay. That's interesting. <laughs> I'm just going to order these. <clears throat> By the way, is my dice, um, is it like reversed when I show it on the screen? Yeah, but I can tell what it is. Okay. Um, is there a way to fix that? I'm not sure. It's mirroring in it. Um, I feel like if it would be anywhere, it would be in video settings. Yeah, you can mirror. There's, yeah, there's, there's I've, a setting. I've, okay, I, I've just unmirrored myself. Oh god, that fucks me up. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> oh, sorry. If I can, I can. No, no. On my end, if I if I try and unmirror my video, it fucks me up because it's just like, oh, I'm moving in the opposite direction. What the fuck is going on? Um, so oh, yeah, that is really weird. Oh well. I mean, I'm not really, I'm not really looking at my video, so I'm just okay. going to ignore it. Um, okay, okay, I'm going to quickly read through the prompt. Um, the body. You've been waiting to see them again. You're prepared this time. Roll 10d6 each pool. Hide your pools. You may burn an extra d6 to immediately win a round with a surprising development. Oh, okay. So that's, that's the thing that I just said anyway. Um, yeah, so you can immediately burn a dice. So I think even if you have like one... But that guarantees someone will win. Yeah. So in even the next, Because then there'll be a round that you don't have a dice for. Yeah, possibly. Yes, no, you're right. It could, it could mean that they, they stack and then right at the end you have like a terrible, terrible loss. Yeah. Um, okay, are we, are we deciding roughly where we are? Because I have kind of a vague idea. Or yeah, go, we... go then. Yeah. Um, go. Okay, so it's like a shitty dive bar that um, people of our ilk hang out at. Mm -hmm. Um, do like you mean, kind of do you the mean, bar from do Deadpool you mean, Do you mean, yeah, I was like, do you mean superheroes or do you mean gays? Like, let's be clear here. Um, <laughs> gay superheroes. Gay, gay, okay, gay, cool. gay, gay people with superpowers. Okay, got it, cool. Um, and <laughs> I, um, we're, we're, we're meeting in like, uh, um, 
I tapped you on Grinder. No. Um, <laughs> I, we're meeting I, in a sort of like quiet corner. Okay, so so you call the meeting, or have I called the meeting? Um, I think that. I just told you that I would be here. I didn't tell you that I wanted to see you. Okay. I just told you where you could find me if you wanted to see me. Okay. And I gave you a very specific place, date and time. Okay. And I smell of cigarette smoke because I've been anxiety smoking in that alley at the back of the bar. Okay, cool. Um, so, oh, sorry, okay. yeah, you, you're, you're already there. And then I, yeah, yeah okay. Um, Is there any more scene painting you want to do? Um, uh, like, because like, the bar that I'm imagining is like totally um, wharf chambers <laughs> in Leeds. Yeah, 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 yeah. A bit like that, but like there's like booths. It's like that energy. It's like, it's like wharf chambers with the same aesthetic, but if they had more money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, cool. And, and they've got like booths and stuff, I guess, as well. So you can be a bit more private. Mm -hmm. um, um, I, I, so uh, you see me... Uh, walk in like slightly nervous like it's 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 a bar for gay superiors but like i don't normally go in these places um and uh um <laughs> hello cat hello bailey um terrible man <laughs> <laughs> sorry i love them so much you bitch <laughs> my god <laughs> You, you you lemon stealing whore, get down. <laughs> um, Sorry. Okay. So, um, I you see me walk into the bar and I um, uh, I go up to the bar and I ask for um, can I have uh a orange juice? No, no, actually, no, no. Could I have um, could I have uh like a triple shot of rum? Is that okay? Great, thanks. Um, and I, uh, I wait, and I'm kind of looking around trying to figure out where um, you're sitting. Uh, I, I see you. Mm -hmm. um, there's on the table in front of me. There's like a, uh, like a neat um, whiskey, um, and opposite me there's an orange juice. Okay. Should we? I grab my drink and um, I head over and let's let's play our first. Okay. Um, three, two, one. Oh that's shit! Five. Sorry. That's a five. Yep, that was a five. Oh my god! <laughs> he loves those dice. He loves those little. He loves those little. Those little cat treats. Those little. <laughs> those little hard. There's those little like stony cat cat treats that are definitely Don't encourage him. him. <laughs> definitely Don't him. encourage him. <laughs> Don't encourage him. My God. Okay. Oh shit! I haven't even been marking my victories. Um, I think I got like two in that last round. Um, oh shit! Yeah, you're right. Um, I got like two yeah. wins. Like, yeah, I've not been keeping track. Um, but yeah. Um. Okay, so. I just kind of like tilt my head back to note your arrival um, and I'm wearing better fitting clothes this time which indicates that I'm not planning on you know mutating mm -hmm. um, I'm wearing a shirt which is rare um, uh, same battered converse um, which I like I had I'd been propping my feet up on the side of the booth that you'd be sitting on, mm. which I sort of swing away when you turn up. All right? All right. Adventurous. The rum, I mean. Well, I thought I'd need someone to help me out if I'm going to have another conversation with you, given how things went last time. Wow. Okay. Cool. Nice. Um... Yeah, no, fuck it. I don't know why I'm bothering with the pleasantries. Um, you need my help. Uh, 
I don't think so. You do. Um, there, there was a plan. Um, the, the guy that you're working for, the what's his name? Um, fucking just another rich you know the one that I mean that was meant that at his I like down half of my whiskey in one gulp um, his stupid fucking house in the countryside the one where his kids live uh i'd lean i I lean forward i know that some of my comrades compatriots whatever are planning an attack and they're planning on planting a bomb jesus Jesus. Oh, fuck. Uh, it's probably already there. What? Oh my god. It's the. They're not planning on dining it until. Uh, fuck, until the weekend when everyone's home. So I, you've got you've got a couple of days. I, a couple. Of, I, I gotta go. I gotta. I gotta go now and sort it out. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta I, fix this. I, I try and get up. I, I grab you. What? There's, 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 there's nothing that you can do tonight. Uh, I can get on a train. I can, uh, I can hotwire a car. I can. Uh, look, look, calm, calm down. You're not, you're not hotwiring a fucking car. All right. I've seen you try and do that once. You're gonna kill yourself. I, uh, I nearly had it that time. Yeah, really, yeah, really... I... There's not there's nothing I can do tonight. No, no, it what well, it'll be midnight by the time you get there. It's no go tomorrow I can I can take you um if you want. I um you can wait these I you know, I've still got the motorbike if you're willing to ride it again. Um Yeah, go go tomorrow morning. Why why am I trusting you? Why do I why am I trusting you right now? I don't know. I sit back down. I mean and I you sip. should trust me, but I don't know why you are. Sorry. Uh, I, I, and I sip, um, I, I sip like half of the glass of shots that I've ordered. I didn't tell you this. This conversation didn't no. happen. Yeah. 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 Thank. Thank you. Yeah. We should play another round. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Three, two, Three, two one. one. Okay. <sighs> Why do you smell of smoke? You're not. I thought you kicked that. Look, I did. I have. It's just sometimes when I get anxious, it's it's too much to control. I there's something I have to let go, and usually that's having kicked the habit. What do you? Why are you anxious? Like, well, because because I've just told you this because 
I'm meeting you in public, which is a terrible idea, but I didn't know where else to tell you to meet me. I can fucking meet you at mine. I just know where's safe for this discussion to be happening. So I, you know, if it's, if they find out that I've told you, there's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be in a lot of shit, Marcus. You could have invited me to your apartment. Yeah, but that, that would require trust and I don't know if I have that yet. I don't know if I will have that again. So, well, if you're anxious to tell me, then I guess you you really did tell me that to try and help me, and I appreciate that. Yeah. Fuck. Um. I like wave towards the bar and they bring another drink over. It's not even a discussion that I need to have with them anymore. They just kind of like, no. Um, um, fuck, this feels so, I. I don't like feeling like this in front of you. It's weird that we used to be friends. Yeah, it is a bit, isn't it? Yeah, in a past life, this is a decision that oh, maybe you would have been able to talk me through, that we would have been able to have a discussion about over dinner in my house instead of In this fucking place. I, oh, I'm sick of it by now, to be honest. I imagine you are as well. Yeah, I... I've not really had dinner with anyone, aside from when I go see my family on, on Sundays. You still playing Catan? Yeah, I... I, I convinced my mum to buy an expansion. Which, which which expansion did you get? Mm, we got the one that's set in like um, Central Asia. It's good. It's interesting. Yeah, yeah. It's a very interesting dimension to the to the, the sort of playing paradigm. Yeah. Paradigm. Yeah. You're gonna make fun of me for saying the word paradigm? Like, what are you doing? No, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I. It's a word. It's a word that's used yeah, by I... many actual academics, actually. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't realise that the today's futile argument was gonna be about the word paradigm. Uh or I wouldn't have said anything. Um Can I start laughing. <laughs> God fucking damn it. I'm so dumb. You know, we have so many real things to argue about and we uh, <laughs> argue about paradigms. <laughs> We should blend the round. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. oh my god. <laughs> Fucking nightmare boy. Oh, he Horrible just wants man. To I know. Um. Oh no, don't eat the plant. No. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Jesus Christ. They offer you. Don't eat the plants. That's an extremely, <laughs> extremely niche reference. I didn't get it. I'm very sorry. It's the last song um, from um, Little Shop of Horrors musical. <laughs> um, Excellent. Okay. Um, um, okay. Three, two, one. Okay. Okay, nice. I uh, have a confession to make. Yeah? 
Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we were talking about how slowly rehabilitating billionaires with um, very terrible morals might not work always. Yes. Um, and I look around carefully. <laughs> Basically, what, what I've been doing is um, I've been uh, slowly uh, poisoning a couple of my employers. Holy fucking shit. Not, not, not enough to kill them, not enough to kill them, but enough to like, you know, maybe encourage them to take a, take a break and maybe <sighs> let one of their slightly younger, slightly less right wing employees take over for a little bit. Um, oh. Not enough uh, to kill them, this, not enough to kill them, but enough to encourage them to, that maybe their time is, well, not over. That's, that really oh makes it sound God. like killing people, but, no, but they, maybe, they, maybe their morals currently um, are better. Marcus, than I could kiss you. I swear, this is the best news. And Marcus goes like bright, bright red at that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like realise what I've said half a beat after I've said it, and I... <laughs> I this is the best news that I've heard in, oh, months, years. Oh, oh I wish, I it's wish. It's not I enough to kill moment. them. It's not enough to kill them. I want to make that yeah, really Yeah, clear. yeah, yeah, yeah. But the point is, is that you have a little bit accepted that I'm right. Haven't you? A, a little bit. What changed? I think talking to you, uh, you know, big picture, small picture, I, I I think I had to take a step back and like, you know, talk to people and talk to, you know, you know with, with Delivero, like talk to more of my colleagues and you know, I always thought that I was kind of a person, I was always like a man of the people because I was trying to influence the people who influence the people, but I'm sort of disconnected in that way. And I think, I think a large part of it is because I grew up super middle class and I feel like an idiot. Well, better late than never. And I think we should mm-hmm. have another section. Okay. This is our third one, right? Um. No, it's our fourth one, isn't it? Yeah, I was just looking at my dice, and I've got three. So. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, three, two, one. It's a five. Okay, this is a two. Um, sorry. Um, I'm reaching for my next drink because I've finished the one that's in front of me and I, um, I spill a bit of it onto my shirt oh fucking shit oh. I, this was no, don't 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 new I, and i grab a i grab a napkin and like without thinking about it i just like reach over and try and like dab it off you like like a like a like a mother with her child or something <laughs> i i just let you I, okay okay thanks and i I chuck the, the 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 serviette and linger for a second or two, super close to your face, and then I pull away again. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is fucking. I've never been awkward around you in my life. I don't know why it's starting now. I I mean, have we really changed that much? I I think we have been awkward around each other. 
once or twice. Yeah, but it's different this time. It's heavy here. Um, I, um, <laughs> I like pick up my drink and I lean back in my chair and, um, like deliberately, uh, like, <laughs> do that, like, a little bit of the midriff, um, and like sip my drink, like, thinking, like, deliberately. My eyes, like, drift immediately to like the exposed skin of your midriff and then I like blush and look away and then I look back at you this like picture of like uh disaffected like nonchalance and I blush harder and look away harder and stare into my drink for a minute just to kind of like, recompose myself let's play another round <laughs> yeah Okay. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh shit. Okay. Got some really bad rolls this round. Um. Oh fuck. Okay. <laughs> just, um. I drink a bit more. Um. And um. I um. Uh, put my drink down and I could like, go had anyone interesting recently any supers sorry had anyone um sorry I thought you meant uh never mind um <clears throat> um yeah yeah there was a guy um uh, God, what was what's his name? He's got a he's got a twee stupid name. I oh, Candy Floss, right? Yeah, that's him. Oh God, I fucking hate that guy so much with his pink hair. Why did you fuck him then? <laughs> <laughs> because, because he was there and. And it helps. It's it's an advantage. An advantage. Mm -hmm. mm. Hmm. So not only do you fuck people to to deal with your problems, but uh, you then use it against them later. Smooth. Look, we all have tactics all right you have poisoning and i have fucking that's allowed is it true what they say about him that he that when he and he floats <laughs> yeah 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 it is it is unfortunately incredibly true. Oh, that is priceless. Um, I thought it was a rumor. Yeah, that is amazing. I, I would be lying to you if I didn't tell you that that was at least 35% of the reason that I hit him back up when he messaged me because, oh, I couldn't. I was, you know, he was, I could see that it was getting there and I was like, there's no way that this is going to happen. There's absolutely no way. And then it did, my God. Is he embarrassed about it, or does he just, like, own it? Of course not. That man has never been embarrassed about anything in his life. <laughs> I mean, He's a I get... self-centred. Because he goes around calling himself Candy Floss, so I guess not much, not much else can uh, embarrass you after that. Yeah, that's a name that he chose for himself. I assumed that his mum did or something, and he hadn't changed it out of respect. But no, no. <laughs> He, as a grown ass man, took that name for himself. <sighs> the mind fucking boggles, doesn't it? Let's play another round. Yeah. Mm, okay. Okay. Three, two, one. 
Three, two, two, two one. Okay, two. nice. What about you? Um, you see that um, Marcus is like, he doesn't drink very often. And so even like, and possibly he's not eaten before he's, he's come here. So um, he's a little bit out of it, um, mm -hmm. even from like three shots. Um, oh, I just sort of been getting on with stuff, I suppose. I, I don't know. I've never really found anyone who, well, I've not been in a relationship before, so. I guess that's why it amuses me hearing about your conquests. You've been getting on with it isn't isn't all there is to life, man. You know, this this uh rivalry, this nemesis hood, it's not gonna last forever. You need you need you need something to go home to. I uh I've got into crosswords recently. Um, I do a few of those before bed. Cool. Cryptic crosswords or just? Yeah, just, just... The, I've moved on to the more difficult ones. So I uh, nice. have something, I, 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 I occupy my time. Cool. Do the crosswords float when you finish them? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Nothing, I'm just, just thinking about how enriched your life must be I, now that you've got the crosswords to keep you warm at night. Well, no, and, and I work out as well. All right, that, 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 that helps keep me sane. You know, I just, I just stick some music on. Um, you know, I do, I, I don't have any equipment, but like, I, you know, I do some press-ups, some sit-ups. Um, keeps me going, you know? Um, So you're happy. Yeah, turning the mind, turning the body, poisoning millionaires. <laughs> Man, God, oh, you know that's that's. I'm going to embroider that on a on a throw pillow and put it in my house. Amos Nova poisons billionaires. Marcus Nova. Sorry, I when I get drunk, I forget all names apart from my own. I mean, you, I know that you know that, but it hasn't changed. I want to see your apartment. It sounds really pretty near the park, in the gay bit. Why am I stuck up near the university? That sucks. <laughs> I mean. You know, you're near libraries. That's 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 a good a good yeah pastime. Uh, but the students they leave their bins all over the all over the sidewalks, and I've been to every house and told them to not do it, and it's had zero effect. Every house, and they don't care. I'm out here trying to do my best. They didn't care about anything. I mean, you remember. You remember what it's like to be a teenager that doesn't give a shit. It wasn't that long ago. Um, I down the rest of my drink uh, and stand up. Come on then. Sure. And... Um... I uh, try to to and, and I and I I stand, but I've got that thing where um, when I move my head, there's like a like a there's like a millisecond lag, and it's mm -hmm. um, oh Jesus, man! I just, look, uh, just get out. I'll 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 get you some water. Um, and as I go over to the bar, um, I've walked off already, just like not listening to your protest at all. <laughs> As I go over to the bar, um, I'm like anxiously 
checking the clock and then looking at the door. Um, and I, I get you water and I come back. Um, yeah, just, just, just have this, just quickly, come on. Oh, I, sure, sure, sure. I can drink water by myself. Uh, and um, I, 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 I drink it. Um, you can tell by this point he definitely didn't have anything to eat before he, he like before he came here. <laughs> I'll get look. We can get. We'll we'll get some chips on the way. Just we're we're going to yours. Yeah, you said you wanted to see my apartment. Oh, cool. I thought you'd just blow me off like last time. <laughs> nah, I've got um. He's like anxiously bouncing his leg. No, I've uh No, I wanna I wanna I wanna show off. I wanna show you what 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 you're missing with a life of crime. Sure, go ahead. Um, should we roll again? Um yes. Sorry, you were gonna say something. No, no, I'm I'm good. Okay. Okay, three, two, one, six, no, five. Okay, I'm gonna burn a dice. Really? Yeah, yes, do I it, am. do it. Um, um, damn, that's my six gone. That was, that was brutal. <laughs> go, go, Too go bad. for it. No, um, I love it, I love it, go for it. Okay, so I am now like I, I i'm i'm slowing this down to like to to like second by second time mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um as the second hand twitches past the first hand on the clock um uh it strikes oh, shit. 20 minutes past um i the like this sort of anxious vibrating energy that has been going on all night um stops um and i just i grab you um and i just kind of don't i'm just like fucking bundling you through the back of the bar i imagine you're protesting i don't care Fuck, what are you um, doing I, Fuck. Ah. Just shut up just shut up just shut up just shut up shut up marcus shut up uh, and as i'm pushing you um i'm like looking over my shoulder anxiously and the door um to the bar bursts open um and some like there's 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 a good for nothing villain that we both hate there. Um, oh, okay. And um and he he's scanning around, uh, locked eyes with us, uh, and says, "Fucking them, there they are." Um, and I, as I'm pushing you out of the bar, I'm like, "No, no, stop it! No, no, it's not. This is not. This is not happening." Um, and then I push you out into the street, um, and I grab your hand, and I'm like, "We need, we need to fucking run. We need to run." Oh Christ! Oh God! What's what's famine doing here? I I'll explain everything when we get to mine. Okay. And just I, run. Just trust me. Okay. And I grab your hand and mm -hmm. run. Yeah. So we're before before we I guess like move on to the next phase. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm just like, I'm just imagining us kind of like our footsteps, like pounding against the pavement and like ringing out through side streets. And there's more than one time where I kind of like turn around to like shove a bin over behind us uh, in case we're still being chased. Cause we can kind of like hear them in the distance. I guess I can, I can hear that we're still being chased because I've like, <laughs> my ears have gotten all like fucking werewolfy. Hmm. Um, <laughs> they're like, they're like, big and pointy and like bristling and scared um as we're running then, um i'm just sort of like i'm running but also kind of like transfixed just watching you kind of morph from human to kind of um to wolf sort of form as my eyes are like red in the darkness um and if i hear them get too close i just like snarl at them in the same way that like um if you get too close 
um, like to something that I don't know if you, <laughs> if you get too close to the food that a wolf is uh, like standing over it mm. will roar at you mm -hmm. um, in this kind of like just an angry snarl to get you to back the fuck off um, we go past a construction site and um, I um, I I look I look at it and my eyes glow and um, like a power line from under the concrete like um, erupts into sparks and flames uh, across and like the sparks are like kind of shooting across the street in front of them. I see that and I'm like fuck yeah um, and I take advantage of the distraction to um, pull you down a side street. Um, oh oh uh, oh wait no that won't work. Um, sorry I had a thought but it won't. Um, and it's like you know the you know the like the fire escape that exists on the side of every single American. Yep. 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 Yeah. 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 We're gonna um we're gonna climb up that. I'm gonna jump and pull the ladder down and like usher you up it. Yeah. Still Just keep going of... up. It's the third floor. The adrenaline's kicking in now, and I'm sort of thinking a bit more straight. And um, I um, yeah, I haul myself up the the fire escape. Okay. So. As this phase finishes, we are outside the window to my apartment, which I've left ajar. Um, and before we go in, um, I'm just standing, leaning on the wall and like <laughs> panting, like kind of half bent over, looking up at you with what might be a smile on my face. Um, I... I kind of step forward, still kind of like high on the on the alcohol and the adrenaline, and I like grab your face um, in my hands, and I go, "That was fucking insane! That was fucking insane! Are we okay? Are yeah. we safe? Are, we, are they going to kill us? What's going on?" We're safe. We're safe. I'll 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 explain once we get inside, and I oh, I, I, I hold the window open for you. Um, but I kind of like I, I actually you know I I reach out to hold it open, and before I do, I just like close my eyes for a second um and like stand in the feeling of your hands on my cheeks and then I open the window and I think we should roll again yes so just four d6s now yeah because I was like oh god 10 d6 this is this is a lot um but yes yes so it's just four so I'm gonna yeah. read I'm gonna read the prompt uh the heart this is it the end it's now or never roll 4 d6 and openly display your pools take your time Okay, I'll dump mine in chat when I've rolled. Okay. I have five, five, four, two. Okay, the first thing, um, I would like to play my two immediately um, and let, like, um, and, yeah, I want to I wanna lose the first one, if that's all right. Yeah, that's fine, okay. so then I'll play uh, a five. Okay, um, as, I, uh, as I scramble through the window, um, I catch my foot and um, I just fall into a heap on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 just like on my back on the floor, limbs splayed out. <laughs> <laughs> um I laugh for a moment uh, and <laughs> I, I I reach down um to help you up I pull you to your feet I guess yeah I um shake I shakily get up oh that was that was that was my fault Ugh. I need to work on my dexterity I've got the, I mean, got the strength it's... and I've got the leanness, but the dexterity still not there. I'm not gonna. I'm. I'm not. I'm not gonna. Um, the art are painty. I'm not good at that. <laughs> My God, you're so drunk. They call I forgot it... how tips you get so easily. Fine motor skills. Can't do that. Yeah. Well, that's that's fine. That's. Who needs motor skills when you have electricity for eyes? It's fine. Um. Oh shit! And, and I, kind of, I, I look. I kind of. I glance up, and all the lights in the all, all the lights in the flat turn on. <laughs> so I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks. Um, 
hey, my um, the 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 room that we've like tumbled into. Um, also, is, the, also, uh, the, also the also the dishwasher and the washing machine turn on as well. <laughs> Can sort of hear them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I I like I'm used to this. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's you know it it happens. Uh, um, the room that we've tumbled into is my bedroom, and it's like it's messy, but it's not like a tip. Um, there's just like clothes on the floor um, and it smells like fancy cologne um, and the the bed is unmade and there is like uh, on the bedside table by the right side of the bed um, there's just a pile of energy drinks um, and I lead you um, into the living room which has what has like a wall that is like just window mm-hmm. um, with the balcony in front of it, yeah. looking out over the park, um, and there's a sofa which I like gesture to, um, and I sit uh, sort of like a few, like a, on the other end of it, basically. Um, I owe you an explanation. Famine and I sorry, my cat. Um we work together briefly, not now. Papa's doing a dramatic scene. <laughs> um just for it was one job. And it was fucking horrible. And I swore Why? that I'd never work with him again. He's a dickhead. And I know, I know he's a dickhead. Um, but he like he trains, he, fight, he he takes children from orphanages and trains them up and is like his little army. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. And he told me that that he told me to bring you that what wait what did he he told me Did he plant the bomb in the house? Yeah. Is, is it real bomb or is it all just to get me to go there? No, it's it's real and he knew that if you knew he would be able to stop it so he told me to bring you there so he could make sure that that didn't happen but but as soon as soon as we sat down I knew that I couldn't um and he made it clear what would happen if I didn't hold up my end of the bargain so but that's that's tomorrow's problem and I'm sorry and I should never I should never have asked you that where 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 is um Amos in the room like where where are we both like in the room in a minute. I okay, so I I like gestured you over to the sofa and I had been sitting down, but now I'm pacing, like looking out the window over the skyline with my hands in my pockets, and I'm like hanging my head in shame as I just have been. <laughs> I get up and I walk over to where you're pacing and I like grab both your forearms to get you to stop pacing. Um and I lean over and kiss you. 
I freeze for a second in surprise and in like, like in a, I am running through in my head all of the ways that this could just be a friendly gesture that I'm just interpreting. <laughs> That, um, that gay anxiety <laughs> yeah fully and I'm like you can you can hear the cogs whirring um in my brain as I'm like maybe this is just is just a, a just, just a just a friendly just a brotherly kiss as among, you're as you're thinking this um, I've like got my hat I've got like I put my hands on your on your cheeks um um like and kiss kiss you deeper like I like um when I when when I feel that I like I I all of the tension in my body just like dissipates um and I put my hands on your waist and kiss you back um and I do not realize that there is a tear rolling down my face until we break apart yeah I lay my forehead on yours for a second and then lean back and look at you I'm not taking my eyes off of yours because they've always been like my favorite part of you. Um, but ever since we sort of parted ways, I've never been able to like stare into them. Like I used to long to when I would like spend fucking what felt like hours staring at you while you weren't looking at me. Um, so I'm relishing in the ability to just be able to like look into your eyes. Um, I'm staring at you and the the curve of your lip that I think about in quiet moments in my life and the kind of rugged angles of your face and body. I lift a hand and I kind of like trace, um, I like brush the back of my fingers along the line of your jaw. Um, and I tilt your face up to give you another kiss because I can't like, it's like, I need to keep proving to myself that this is happening. Um, and I'm kind of like, I surprise myself, but as I um, lift my hand up to your face, um, I can see, I can see it like shaking slightly um, with the intensity of everything that I am feeling in this moment. Uh, that was I don't know why I did that but it felt like the right thing to do yeah I I don't know why you did that either but I'm I'm glad you did uh, I truly thought you were going to punch me so that was a nice surprise <laughs> I think yeah there was maybe a maybe a flip of the coin there I'm glad it was I'm glad it was this side of the coin though. Yeah, me too. Um, <laughs> um I like I yeah, I tilt your head up slightly so that the moonlight like catches your eyes and what I'm imagining is like, you know like white opal. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, like there's just it's just a white gemstone with all of the kind of like iridescent patterns and ribbons running through it and I imagine that under the moonlight that's what your eyes look like um <laughs> man I I forgot like photographs don't do it justice your eyes they like Fuck, I used to think about them all the time. I just, you're just, you're, you're beautiful, man. Hi. Well, I'm, I'm on my own a lot, really, and to comfort me before I sleep, I sometimes think of, of you there holding me. Do you remember, do you remember when we went camping 
and I couldn't I just didn't uh figure out how to make my temp work. Yeah. So we had to fucking cram into your tiny one man tent. Um and you were cold. So I held you. Do you remember that? I wasn't that cold. <laughs> yeah, I uh I hoped that was the case whenever I thought about it, which was uh all the goddamn time. I think you maybe know more about putting up tents as well than you look. I I I'm allowed to not answer that question if I believe that the response <laughs> would incriminate me. <laughs> God, and we used to like there, we, there were nights where we like lay on the ground, looking up at the stars, and until until the moon came, and every time I just watch you transform and the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. A kind of slow shift of muscles and knowing that your senses were getting more powerful and you could s smell me, taste me on the air. <laughs> Think about I, that um... a lot. I remember I can always hear your heartbeat by the time I was fully shifted and I can always hear when it picked up and I assumed for so long that it was fear um, but then I'd look at your face and that anxiety would just fade for a while because because you're the the only person that's ever looked at me without some level of revulsion at what I've become. And for a while I believed that there could be beauty in it. How, how could they? How could they? And I kiss you again and again to try and push that, that feeling of fear and that feeling of being displaced away I, I kiss your cheek and and your neck and each of your fingers there are like tears brimming in my eyes as you do this um and on the when you when you kiss um my thumb I just kind of like let them fall and I'm not crying like I'm not sobbing they're just there um, and as I sort of like look down and see the way that they're kind of like falling to and splashing on the floor and um, each one of them catches the moonlight individually and um, it makes me think of you again and um, God I for the longest time I've just been chasing echoes of you, just anything that reminded me of you would just endlessly fascinate me and I pretended that I didn't know why and having you in front of me now it's it's almost too much it's not too much but it almost is the bastard man <laughs> um, it's like the the enormity of what I'm feeling is so intense that it's almost painful um, and I see that the only way that I know how which is to hold you close enough to me that I'm don't eat the plant <laughs> hold you close enough to me that it's like I'm hoping our rib cages will fuse together and our hearts can just like eat next to each other mm -hmm. should we roll again 
I mean, we can. <laughs> We've rolled once like, in like that ten minutes. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> should um, we do? Should we do like one more roll and yeah, then yeah, yeah, yeah like because three doesn't make sense at this point. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna pick a five. I picked a five as well. Mm-hmm. That was my hope. Okay. Um, I, I've let some kind of like aspect of me change because under the full moon, it's more like most of the time I can control it under the moon. It's like, I have to actively hold it in. Um, and so I do, and, um, I guess like the, hair on my arms becomes thicker and my hands turn to sort of like claws um and I use one to tilt your chin up um <laughs> because because I love that cliche yeah yep, using yep, yep, a yep, weapon yep. yeah 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 um I use one to tilt your chin up and I have the other um pressed against your chest um and you know how sharp my claws are and you know that if mm. I wanted to I could just like but I don't. I yeah. just lay it there so I can feel your heartbeat thumping against my hand. And um, my hands um, sort of trail up and down through the, the fur on your, on your arms. I gently grab one of your wrists and place it on my chest. Place, no, place your hand on my chest even, mm. over where my heart is. I feel your heart beat. And I'm, I want to get closer to you and kiss you again, and, but you're, you're holding me mm -hmm. away. Yeah. Let me just, let me just look at you a little bit more. I can sort of get, like, a little frustrated. <laughs> God, you always were so impatient. What's it to you? <laughs> look, look, I just, I just like looking at you, all right? Let me have this. <laughs> I've forgotten what it looks like to see you not on the defensive even a little. I want to memorize it. And I, I try and like dial back my frustration and stand like, and like kind of almost bare my neck. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> like a virgin in like a, a vampire story or something <laughs> almost parodying it but knowing that um, you love it yeah i i um okay fuck it i um fucking ballroom dancing ask just dip you so you, my forearm is like under your neck and your neck is still back like that but now like I'm here you're in front of me and the moonlight is just kind of like streaming down onto you um uh and I kiss your throat um and you can probably feel like my teeth against your skin but they don't they're just there I um, let I let out a gasp and the um the bulb in the, the bulb in the room blows and it's just darkness and moonlight. Scene and scene, right? That is the scene. Yeah. 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 <sighs> darkness and moonlight. Damn. I 
I was like trying to find a point to like make it a bit more sexy and I just couldn't like get I was just too nervous to do it <laughs> no I feel you but I was like I love that but like I love that because that that kind of did that really well yeah yeah I agree that's an, it's, it's a nice like fade to black wink yes moment. yes 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 lads yeah. lads lads <laughs> sorry <laughs> No, that's, 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 that's. Sorry, I'm just saying where you 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 really you're really you're really like vulnerable and emotional, creative, and then you have to like be masculine for a little bit. <laughs> Literally, you've got to balance it out. Okay, cool. I'm just checking. Yeah, like that's it. That's that's the game. Mm-hmm. We did it. Do we want to debrief? Um, do we want to do de- like in case I haven't checked if I got a response, but um. I mean, I think debriefing is always useful. Yeah, let's let's debrief and keep it on camera. Um, mm-hmm. I'm going to double check and see if I've got a response from from Thingy. Um, oh, I think I have. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. So flowers. So swords and flowers. The swords and flowers. Deb has responded and says, "I'd love to hear it. Is this a private recording? Or you plan to upload in public? Okay. Cool. So we will send the recording to them. Um, so." Yeah. Yeah, deb- let's let's debrief on how we thought that went, like as improvisers and TPT RPG people. Um, I've really enjoyed that. I really, yeah, really too. enjoyed that. Um, I thought that it worked better than the the system that the system where you have the pools of dice worked better than um, the moon wants me to leave you because that game re- relies yeah. on that game is completely is way too chance re- reliant and like this is this is like here are your resources now use the resources and like mm-hmm. that works really well it's worked a little bit like fiasco um fiasco kind of um is, a, is like a narrative game where you, you play with a bunch of people and like um yeah you, you have like you have a depending on what dice you roll you're like successful or um you, you can choose whether to make a scene go well for your character or badly for another character so it kind of works mm-hmm. a little bit like that but yeah i really like that because um yeah it takes a load of the chance out of it and allows you to just just get on with the story um yeah it allows for the natural kind of like ebb and flow and like mm. point scoring of a conversation between hero and villain yeah and it very much was that and like i think that we did i think like that was just so satisfying because it just played out like all of the like kind of cute like sexy archetypes that i would like I know, love right? to see like uh, that we love to see we love to see it and <laughs> we do love to see it that was such a satisfying arc as well mm, from the, yeah. like antagonizing each other on a rooftop oh, to uh like, yeah admitting our vulnerabilities to each other in a bar to the final scene where i become a furry and you make out with me it was so like <laughs> fan fictiony and i love it and it like it was ah, awesome it was so good it really like cause, uh, this is a game where you have to like lean into that yeah yeah. Like it's not a game to be like cerebral about. Like mm. it's not a, like you just got a Oh yeah, that was that was incredibly You you did an awesome thing with the like other supervillain turning up at the bar because like I wasn't even thinking about like, oh, should we have plot stuff happen apart from our relationship? And like you brought in that was so cool to have that and like have that. That was that was awesome. Um Thank you. Yeah, I wanted to like I oh, Bailey, you little bastard man. Can you get down, please? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, I just love your cat invading our TTF. He's, he's, he's a dreadful little boy. Yesterday, he I hid the treats somewhere and he fucking found them and ripped the bag apart and ate no. almost all of them. Shame. Shame. Anyway. Shame. Um, I wanted, I think to do something which put the ball in your court so I wanted like that idea of betrayal and I was considering taking it further and making myself far less sympathetic but I felt like that would just lead to this kind of like unsatisfying um Mm. like not quite being able to trust each other yeah moment at the end and I just wanted like a cliche ending Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Like I, that, that was great because it was like, yeah, you kind of betrayed my character, but at the same time, there's also that confusion of like, it's someone we both hate. You were obviously put in a very difficult position, and that was just exactly what like my character going over and kissing you just felt exactly like right for that moment. Yeah. Um, oh, that was so good. My my gay little heart. Same. 
I'm so just, good. I'm just, that was just, that was, that was fucking excellent. What were your, um... Oh shit, yeah. We, we wrote down our secrets, didn't we? Yeah. Um, um... How, how easy did you find to incorporate that? They were kind of in the back of my mind. Um, they were kind of, I mean, because they were quite kind of strongly related to the stuff that we'd already discussed as a group, as a group, mm-hmm. as a pair. Um, yeah, so the secrets that I wrote down, so um, let me grab the prompts. Um, how far would you go to be t- together again? I wrote, um, this is the one exception I'm making to my rule and it kills me and I want it to work again. Um, to I what? wrote... Um, you go, you go. Oh, yeah. sorry. No, no, you, uh, you yeah, no, I wrote not far enough um because i would never turn myself in um so i would never like follow the the like the the path to rehabilitative justice Mm -hmm. that like you see as sort of like a necessary step on like paying for your crimes Mm -hmm. um and i know that that's probably like not like if i if i would have been able to change up until that point it still wouldn't be enough Mm -hmm. Um, um, what about the second one? Second one, why are you obviously the problem in their life? Uh, I'm, mine was, I will stick with something even if it's horribly unhealthy. Um, what was yours? Just that I keep like dragging us both into the past and not mm-hmm. allowing our like relationship now to be like to be something that we can like independently develop without the past constantly in the back of our mind. But I think that that resolved quite nicely. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and I think you're right. I think that um, like you were right at the beginning when you said that it would be better if we had like never been in a relationship before. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I, I completely agree because I think then that allowed for like the heart part of it to be completely new ground for both of us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, um, what are you doing that's best for both of you? This was really difficult. I thought about this for a very long time. You'll see it when we, yeah. when, we, when we play it back. I'm like staring off into the distance for like two minutes trying to think of something. Yeah, fully. It was the most difficult one. And then I, when I was like, yeah, I'm done. I still hadn't. Um, I'd written something down and then I said, yeah, I'm done. And I was like, no, that's really bad and crossed it out. So then I had to come up with another one. <laughs> I think I didn't really, I didn't really lean into this one. Um, I think I was like, I'm... I'm being what you always told me I could be sure of myself and with an intense love for people. I didn't really, I, I guess I did play into it, but not in the way that like I played into it in like a kind of um, not a great way. I was like, I'm of the people and then didn't actually talk to any actual people. Um, <laughs> you talk to the HR department. Yeah. I really, I, I find that really interesting that we brought class into it because I would never have thought of bringing that theme into it. But that was, then it became so obvious that that's why my moral compass is so, so weird and skewed. Um, yeah, I, I would like to be able to play just one RPG without bringing class into it. Um, I don't know when that day will come. Probably <laughs> never. Um, it just, I just want to play one character that doesn't aggressively want to unionize. Um, my answer for that one was, I think, the one that I leaned into the most, which is that um, my belief was that it was best for both of us if I were to never change and stay a villain and stay doing all of the unhelpful, unhealthy shit. Um, because it would mean less conflict for you if you could just keep hating me and what I represented Mm. but then that moment in the bar where I had to kind of like decide which side I was on I was kind of like unable to make the decision that would like like was I was unable to like continue that as a way of being basically Mm. Uh, and what is it that hurts you whenever you meet? So mine was, I don't know if you ever loved me the way that I love you. And now I don't know if it's ever possible. I also, oh, write, down, I also write down some physical stuff as well as like his eyes, the curve of his lips and ear piercing. I didn't get to the ear piercing, but like, I was like, I want this to be some physical stuff as well that I like think about and ruminate on. Aww. 
I, oh my god that's so mine is terrible mine was just no. that like you seem so happy without me now um because oh. you're like seeing your family and everything um and and it's why I, I don't know it's it's like I'm I, it, he's a fucking glutton for punishment so he keeps turning up in the hope that one day like you won't be so well adjusted to uh him not being in your life anymore but you never have been awesome i like i have to keep actively reminding myself to look at those though i barely i yeah i kind of kept i glanced down at them occasionally um my handwriting's fucking rubbish though so i couldn't i was, I was like fuck what did i write so um yeah, I think that, yeah, I, I was, but I, 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 that was good that we did that at the beginning, because that's something that we wouldn't do in long form yeah. improv, obviously, you know, you develop that, that kind of That was literally history. what I was going to say. Yeah, you Is develop that, that like, kind of depth of history that you don't get when you're doing long form. Yeah, like, I, I think, I think that's why that I find it, um, sort of, because I find this really, like, like, whenever I play an RPG, is that I have to keep actively reminding myself to like to 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 keep up to date with my own law mm. because um what this is like the the I'm most similar to not similar familiar with doing like like long form like dramatic style improv and so like well it's interesting backstory is weird because I've been reading um this book the functions of role playing games which is an awesome book about RPGs and um what I found really interesting, she talks, she talks about like how players create characters and the kind of p- typical process that happens. And she, mm-hmm. and she talks about how very often you start with, with characteristics that there, and then when you start playing the character, you often like lose a lot of the stuff you started with. And then when you have like mm-hmm. a kind of, then when, so you, yeah, you, have, you start with like some character ideas that you write down on paper, then you play, you try and then you try and play your interpretation of what those are. And then you also kind of change some stuff if stuff doesn't feel right. And then after that, you have the realization character, which is like where you've got an understanding of like their history and how they react to stuff. So, because I always used to worry like that quite often I write down characteristics and I don't stick with them. And then I read that and I was like, oh, so fucking everyone does that. <laughs> so that, yeah, made me feel a lot less, that made me feel a lot less weird about like, oh, I kind of drop characteristics quite a lot that I wrote down initially. Like, so apparently everyone does it. Um, I think it's a good like place to wrap interacting up. I'm gonna... with other players. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna. Just I'm gonna... interacting. Yeah. With other players is, in my opinion, the most important character creation. Like That's what they say in the book that as well. It. Yeah. Yeah. Like so, or, or no, no. They say interacting with other players, but also like making decisions that you know that you personally wouldn't make, but the character would. Yeah. Awesome. You were gonna say a thing, and then I interrupted. I'm gonna wrap up the recording. Yeah. Uh, and and pause it. Okay. So um um how do I